Gentlemen, welcome to LA TV. How's it going? Good. How are you, Good. Dennis? Um, you know what? I did not eat breakfast this morning, but for some reason, I have a lot of energy for this interview. <laughs> nice. Nice. Now, some of you, I do see that like on your social media, you kind of like to dress up. And when I say dress up, you know, like put on period uh, costume pieces or maybe do like a lot of Halloween stuff. Um, was that part of the fun of doing this particular series? Oh, period, period shows are always amazing. Nobody has ever seen anything like you men until now. Few things live forever in the soul of a country. Your heroes. There's so much fun to do because, uh, you know, half your job is done for you. Can <laughs> The minute you walk on set and the minute you put those clothes on, it's really, it's great. It's, it's fun to, usually you kind of, uh, you arrive on set in like jeans and a t-shirt and then you put on different jeans and a different t-shirt and then you go. But it's so it's much nicer to have a, a costume, an actual costume is a great change. Yeah, and Dennis, I mean, anytime you're, you got slacks and you're, and you're pulling them up, you know, just about right here, you kind of, <laughs> kind of start to walk and walk different and stand different and, uh, and, and you know. Uh, so w costume and wardrobe is obviously always a huge, huge part of it. Did you feel like Steve Urkel when you had to pull up the pants <laughs> that high? Dude, nice reference. That was right there in my, that was in my, my right there in my heyday with uh, Family Matters. So I, I didn't, but maybe now I will. Now, Mr. Lafferty, you are the executive producer, showrunner of this series. And I'm just thinking if a regular show has a big budget, then a period piece has to have an even larger budget. What is it like handling the money for this uh, type of show? I never got to handle the money. So, you know, I, but I will say this, the, um, the it was so impressive just talking about costumes, going into our, our, our costume designer, Hope Hannafin, had this enormous warehouse full of period uh, costumes. And my wife's an interior designer and and I would send her, you know, just photos of all these women's dresses from the period. It was such a, a candy store. And, you know, anytime, you know, whether it was the mission control set or the NASA offices, it really felt like you opened a door and suddenly you were in another world. And, um, and yeah, I think, look, uh, that stuff, obviously, you know, making anything period look authentic and look real uh, takes a little bit of extra elbow grease and maybe some extra money. Um, but it was really put to great use on the show. When we put our minds to something as human beings, have done things that might seem unachievable, innovation, aspiration, that's a big part of the reason we want to tell this story now. And action! Patrick, you've been quiet over there. What's going on? How did you like doing the show? I honestly, I love doing the show. I love this cast. I love our crew. I love, I, I had a blast and I'm excited for everybody finally to see it. And, uh, you know, we created a really inspirational, fun, exciting, scary, tense, sad, wonderful journey for everyone to go on. And, you know, I like being part of stuff like that. Where's the kid? Those pilots aren't our only option. What about acrobats? Jockeys. They're small, they could easily fit into the capsule. Lenny! Two. Two. Only two signed on? Huh. Only two declined. We've got three days to narrow the list from 108 to 32. Great. Guys, before we wrap up, I want to do a little trivia with you. It's a true or false on 1961. Question number one. Electric toothbrushes were first introduced in 1961. Is that true or false? False. False. I'm gonna say true. Well, whoever answered false is incorrect because the answer is true. So Mark, you got it. Yes. <laughs> nice, Mark. The Flintstones was the number one TV show of that year. True or false? False. True. 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 False. Okay, I heard, tr who said false? Raise your hands. And who said true? Well, whoever said false got it correct because the number one show that year was Wagon Train. <laughs> Time Magazine's Man of the Year was President Eisenhower. True or false? False. 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 Oh my goodness. You all got it right, gentlemen. Who was it? It was John Fred F. Kennedy. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the sure. Wagon trains. 
I I'm sure Fred Flintstone was a contender, but Mr. Kennedy beat him out. So yeah, I I'm sure. I'm I sure think Fred Eisenhower is that year was sexiest man alive. That was that's it was a uh, that was a good Dennis. Uh, Dennis. <laughs> Thank you guys for playing. This was a lot of fun. I, I love getting all the insight on the show and I hope to see you again for season two. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. Thanks, Dennis.